Hi everyone, this is Sanket Naik here, and today we are going to take a video for the installation procedure for the Smart Droid Roam. So let's have a look how to install it. First of all, you will need a custom recovery for your Galaxy device. It can be the CWM, TWRP, or even a Fields Touch. So I have installed a custom recovery on my phone and to boot into the custom recovery the keys are you need to hold the volume up key, the home button key and the power button key simultaneously. So let's start over here and once you see the Samsung logo you can leave the power key and here we are it's the TWRP recovery I have been installed here so now first of all thing is that when you are coming from other ROMs or even the previous versions of smart droid it is recommended you do a full wipe of your phone dirty flashes are okay only if you are coming from an older version but still I would recommend a full wipe of the phone so let's start over here first you need to wipe the data over here let's see the Dalvik cache system data and internal storage there is no need to format the micro SD or the external storage let's swipe here to wipe it will just take few seconds over here and it will be done as you can see it's done next let's go back swipe to factory reset let's swipe it over here this is also done next format data here it will ask you to type yes so just type it yes and go ahead with it this will also take few seconds over here and this procedure is very safe just you need to do it carefully with the right steps involved just do as I am doing over here and everything will be fine and today we are going to install the new version which has been released of the smart droid room it's version 3.4 so now the formatting data has been complete let's go back here now we have completely wiped everything in our room let's go back now we need to install the zip of the room and show the path or the location where we have kept it I have kept it on my external SD card and it's better you keep on your external SD card because everything other gets formatted so let's see over here here is that smart droid this is the version 3.4 just select it you need to swipe to confirm the flash here you will be shown the zip selected you can also add more zips if you want to flash any custom kernel or anything like that for now we are just flashing the ROM over here so let's swipe to confirm the flash now this ROM has got an aroma installer now as it is proceeding it will go up ahead with its aroma installer you can see here now okay so here is the ROM it will tell you the version just click next this is the license agreement kind of thing just ok now next it will ask you if you want to format your system yes it wipes the system automatically wipe data yes wipe cache yes wipe preload yes wipe internal SD card if you want to uh, format the internal SD card and the second option is sorry it's by default no and you can also wipe the internal card just there is a warning make sure this zip is on the external storage so let's go ahead with it next it will ask you for backupping your EFS which is the partition used for storing the IMEI of the phone it's up to you I don't need it as I have a backup of mine backup any settings I don't want any settings backup downloaded apps no no because I'm doing a full wipe I don't need any apps let's go next over here now this will ask for your DPI settings which you want to keep 
I will go ahead with 320 stock Samsung UI DPI let's click next over here now it will give you options for selecting the mods it's up to you your personal personal preference which you want to keep I will keep the wiper for Android FX the Samsung tool you can also disable boot sounds animations and you can keep the soft keys I don't need those so just click next over here next is it will ask root and the new change log of this version 3.4 is the OTA updates so it has been ticked aggression mod super chargers I really don't want I will take the X reality engine Odex if you want to slightly improve ROM performance I will keep it unchecked and finally I will check the cross breeder now let's say next and you can see the installation has start of the ROM down here you will see the progress bar it will take 1 to 2 minutes to install so let's wait for this and for the people who want to install a custom kernel on this ROM or any other ROMs I would recommend you that first only individually install the ROM zip file then reboot the device use it a little and after that go again into the recovery and then you can flash the custom kernel zip I am saying it because I had some experiences that when we install the custom kernel with the ROM sometimes some features get cracked of the ROM I don't know why just to be on the safe side this is my advice so now as you can see it has been completed installing so let's tick next it will reboot your device now just click finish over here now our device is rebooting so congratulations you have successfully installed a smart droid ROM on a Galaxy S3 let's see how it looks this is the first boot so it will take little more time not so much but little more few seconds and then we'll boot up into the startup So as you can see it's taking a bit long but don't worry it will surely boot. always on the first boot after you install a new ROM always be patient don't think it has been into a boot loop just wait for a couple of minutes and it will be done as it was a fresh and full install that's why the ROM takes some time to settle up okay so I felt the vibration now which is a good sign which means now our device is successfully booted as you can see over here we have booted into the startup screen so these are the starting up procedures which we need to do every time we do a full wipe so yes this was the installation procedure of the smart droid roam version 3.4 thanks for watching and for the link to this room i will mention it in the description and don't forget to subscribe for the upcoming videos thanks for watching